Hello, so um, we're going to be thinking now about um, uh, random number generators. And in particular, we're going to think about something called, or oh, some things called, linear congruential generators. These are simple random number generators. So um, I really recommend having a look at the um, a Wikipedia page about this, but um, let's just uh, go through this however so if we have a uh, a random number well what this um what to, for a random number generator what we want to have is we want a sequence of random numbers that we can use and in the linear congruential generator, the, there's a simple equation we use, which is that x m plus 1 is equal to a times xn plus c mod m. Now, A times xn, so this is where we have a sequence sequence of random numbers is x0, x1, x2, and so on, up to xn and xn plus 1 and, 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 and so forth. So what we have are here constants. So we have, uh, well, actually, what I should, what I should uh, state first of all is that x, uh, n values, uh, these are all, I should call this xi really, xi values, these are all integers. A and B and C, or in fact here what we have is A, C and M are all integers. Ugh, shouldn't have put in B. So A, C, and we could put X in there. There we go. Oops. Can we put an X there? Maybe we can try that again. Okay. So A, X, I, C, and M are all integers. Now, uh, so the equation is A times X plus C mod uh, M. Now let's take, take an example. And for me, it's going to have to be a simple example. Let's say that A is equal to 5, that C is equal to 1, and that M is equal to 8. And we're going to start off of the starting number, or the seed, is going to be X0, and we're going to start with 3. So if we take 3, if x0 equals 3, x1 is going to be equal to 5 times 3 plus 1 mod 8. So, 
Uh, let's work that out. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1. So that's 16 mod 8. Now, this function mod is modulo. And what it means is you uh, divide uh, the number, so in this case it's 16 divided by 8, and instead of um, doing, well, in this case it divides perfectly into 2, but if you remember integer division when you first probably did division, uh, then uh, what we would say is this is 2 remainder 0, and what we want with the modulo function is, uh, you could also call it the remainder function. So 16 divided by 8 is 2, uh, remainder 0, so that gives us 0. Now, x2 is going to be 5 times what x1 is 0, so that's just 0, plus 1, mod 8, so that's 1 mod 8, 1 divided by 8 is 0 remainder 1. So that's just equal to 1. x3 is equal to 5 times 1 plus 1 mod 8. So 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 mod 8. 6 divided by 8 is 0 remainder uh, 6. So that's 6. x4. Well, I'm going to I've run out of space to do these all thoroughly, so if we just do 5 times 6 in our heads, so that's 30, plus 1 is 31, mod 8. So 31 divided by 8 gives us 3, uh, which is 24, uh, well, 3 times 8 is 24, so the result is 3 remained 7, so x4 is 7, x5 should be capital X5. Um, 7 times 5 is 35, plus 1 is 36, which is, um, when divided by 8, is 4, remainder 4. So X5 is equal to 4. X6, take 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21, Divided by 8 gives us 2 remainder 5. So that gives us a number 5. X7. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 1 is 26. Divided by 8 gives us uh, 3 remainder 2. So X7 is 2. And X8. Uh, it should be no surprise that 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. If we divide that by 8, we get 1 remainder 3. So what we have, I'm just going to write this uh, vertically, or now we have a sequence so x0, 1, 2, and so forth. The sequence goes 3, 0, 1, 6, 7, 4, 5, 2, 3. Well, really at 3, we've sort of come back and it's gone back to the beginning again. And if we look at this sequence, so that's x0, x1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's at x8 where we repeat and go back to whatever the x0 value was. So we got some, we can write some notes here. We get a, a sequence, which is M long. In fact, generally, 
the length will be m or a factor of m. So we had m was 8. We could have had a sequence of 2. We could have had a sequence of 4. Or we could have just uh, maybe had a sequence of 1. It, it's just a, a factor of, of m. And the length of the sequence uh, depends on the particular values of A and C. So in this case, we had A and C values, which meant that we went through all eight values. Now, um, all eight possible values are between 0 and 7, because when we divide a number by 8, then there are eight possible remainders, which are all the numbers between 0 and 7 inclusive. And we, we, we sort of go through all of those. Now, um, to be a good random number generator, there are lots of statistical tests which can be applied, and um, there are ways of generating numbers which are much better than this simple linear congruential generator. But where this uh, con linear congruential generator scores is that it um, is a simple method which is easy to program and it uh, doesn't take too much uh, memory in the computer at all. So ideally what you want to do is choose M which is large and A and C so that the sequence length is equal to m. That's the sort of bare, bare minimum of what you want. Um, in C, if we were to program this, we would say x is equal to um, a times x plus c percent m so uh, now it's worth noting that um, in, in the Wikipedia page there are examples of um, different values for a and B and C so uh, and sorry a and B and C a and C and M and um, I'll just give one example if we have um, m is equal to 2 to the power of 31 which is a nice big number then um, uh, we can choose values of a and c where a is equal to 110351 uh, 5 2, 4, 5, and then C, the constant you add, is simply 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can read more about this and, and sort of how it works on the Wikipedia page, but that will give a, a nice sequence of, uh, of, of random numbers. Um, so Should put a semicolon at the end. When I uh, have thought about this before, then I often would say that the, your random number, say big X, is equal to A times big X, the old uh, C value, plus B percent C. Um, but uh, that's why I keep talking about A, B, and C values. But uh, it's probably best to think about this A, C, and M standard because this is what's maybe more common okay so this is uh, this has been uh, a quick group thinking about sort of linear congruential generators which are simple it's a simple
random number generator. There are better random number generators, but there are still interesting things that you can do uh, with uh, the linear congruential generator.